Hi YouTube, this is one of your bikes, this is one of my viewers bikes which I got for some ins inspection, the full inspection uh, will be published uh, very very soon but first off we are going to begin with the brakes because this bike has no brakes, zero, zero power on the brakes, let's see how to do it. First off, how do you know which one do you have, the old type, the, the new type? This is the, the model we are working on right now, Shimano M485. You can see the cover here without any bleeding port, these are, these are just two screws. Uh, if you look at our, or my <laughs> tutorial, this is the new type. So you have special bleeding port, so you are unscrewing this little bolt and then the funnel uh, comes in. So just in the second you will see uh, that I'm having the funnel which you have to buy and then you will uh, assemble it to the uh, to the brake there and the bleeding procedure of a new type looks like this. When you look at Shimano side all the new Shimano brakes have the bleeding port. If you're not sure you can simply go even the Acera or Altus you can simply go to your brake which you have uh, for example, Acera, that's 396, and look at this part, funnel bleeding, yes, check. So the Acera, the um, Altus will have it. Even though this looks like a normal, normal cover, there is this little screw right here, which means this is the new type. And this is the old type. For the new type you need the funnel, for the old type you don't need any special tools. Step 1. Level off the bike but also your levers so that the reservoir will be leveled and you don't lose any oil. Then we remove the wheel, the front wheel, the rear wheel, we are doing both here. And remove your braking pads because uh, you might contaminate those with the oil. Once oil gets to your braking pads uh, to the compound, uh, they are useless. You're not able to really fix it in any, any way. Not in your oven either. Use the bleeding block. If the block doesn't fit or you don't have a bleeding block, this is all type of, of the calipers, just use anything that will fit uh, uh, in between and also push away the pistons there so that you will be able, for example, to mount new uh, pads. I'm removing this part so that my tube will uh, will fit nicely. It's also a good idea to have some some cloth just around uh, the uh, the braking lever so that you don't have to be doing that much cleaning afterwards. Because when you remove the cover, some oil might might come off, but also at the end, uh, for sure, you you're gonna lose some oil. There's no almost no oil here inside, so we need to fill that in. Mineral oil, that's the advantage of Shimano brakes, mineral oil, which is not that uh, dangerous for our fingers, for your floor, for any other parts of the bike. You only need the tube, which you can find maybe in your house for some, from something else, and just a little bag. And first we are filling the oil to the reservoir. Uh, then we are opening like 1 8 of a turn. I'm opening a little bit more like uh, than 1 8. You will see some oil already coming into the tube, but then just pump it with your lever. Very important thing, do not let any air bubbles to go into uh, your system while you are uh, working uh, on the braking lever. You see some oil just goes with the gravity uh, down there. But now I'm working with the lever. When you push the lever, nothing happens with the oil. When you release the lever, it will suck in the oil. So the oil must be there all the time. Uh, good practice is to just be refilling it, refilling it a lot, a lot. I will reuse some of the, this oil. Make sure no more bubbles uh, are coming. Then you are closing uh, on that screw so the system now is closed on the caliper side and when you push the lever it should feel like a new so it's firm it's it it works nicely this is what i wanted to get no spongy brakes beautiful this is actually easier than the new type uh, the new type the new uh, bleeding type is, is is great but this is easy you don't have uh, to 
use any additional tools. The yellow stuff is the old oil. Uh, yes, I am reusing my new oil. I do so. Maybe you shouldn't, but I, I think it's much more echo to reuse it. I have never had any problems with my own brakes. Then refill to the top of your reservoir. And then this little uh, seal will also push off some oil so that no bubbles uh, are inside. And then put the cover and your job is done. This is, this is really that easy. Um, using a hammer screwdriver and working a little bit on the housings is good to make sure no bubbles are staying there. But in this system we are actually pushing the bubbles downwards from the lever to the caliper. And now I will just show you some homemade tools for, for the bleeding. So now this is the rear brake, leveling the, uh, the reservoir uh, and just work on the housing. Just make sure when you see that the housing has some turns, curves, just make sure nothing will stay there. And you simply, simply use a cup, some type of a plastic cup and somehow just assemble it to the frame, easy peasy. Now you'll be able to uh, use the syringe and uh, just reuse the oil while working on the whole system. This is really that easy. It took me not more like 15 minutes on, uh, on one break. Easy job, you'll be able to do it. Now this is working perfectly. I'm loving it, refilling, closing, ready to go. And remember forum.sigbiker.com if you have any problems with your brakes, find the right uh, place on the forum like components parts service, then find brakes, disc brakes. And since we're talking about the disc brakes, you can submit your question right here and I'm pretty good in answering those questions. At least so far we, we are growing this uh, forum so, so you can do it right here. Thanks for watching and have a nice one with bleeding your old but still good breaks. Bye bye.